Yo, what's going on guys? Thank you now. Welcome back to another Dungeon Quest video. Now in today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you the best possible warrior loadout. Now if we go into our inventory right now guys, as you can see, we have purple Titan Forge warrior armor, we got the helmet, and we have the Beast Master Scythe. So we've done a video on the new war scythe, we've done a video on the spell scythe, and now we have the best possible loadout. As you can see guys, we are rocking with the two blade throws. All right, so as you can see guys, let's go ahead and see how much damage we do. Look at that right there. Six damage without any armor, 11 damage. All right, yeah, cool. Let's, uh, so yeah, let's whack on that armor. Let's get the weapon on. And now let's see how much damage we do. As you can see guys, we do a ton and ton of damage right there. There's only 5 million damage with just the armor and the war scythe without any skills. Now, I like to go up to about 30,000 health just so I don't get one shot by the bosses. So that's what I like to do. So I don't always put my... You know what, actually, what I can do is I'll put 100% on physical power. So you can see the max amount of damage I can do. Let's see what we do. So yeah, we do about 5.5 to 5.6 million with these skills now i like these skills a lot uh decided to go with these instead of glacial blows just because like once you get purple armor these are really really op and you'll see why but yeah let me reset my stats real quick because i like to go to about thirty thousand health just so i don't get one shot when i play alone at least that is so there we go we have about thirty thousand health and then our physical power is 62 so now we'll see how much damage we do. So as you can see, guys, it doesn't make that much difference. And obviously, we have the health boost. We do about 5.3 million to 5.5 million DPS damage with these spells. So that's pretty awesome. So, yeah, I need to go get some heals real quick. All right, guys, so without further ado, let's jump into a dungeon to see how well this class does to get those thick, thick items. Yo, thick army. Let's go. Now, one thing that I like to do, guys, as I get better items in the game, like, when I first started doing these dungeons, uh, I was saying, like, going up to, like, 50,000 health. But, once you get better, better items, right, you do more damage. So, you don't need as much health because you're going to kill, you know, bosses quicker. You're going to kill all the enemies quicker. This is why I like these blade throws, guys. So, you can just go up to them and they all die instantly. It's like a boomerang type of thing. Like, you know, it goes through them. Deals a bunch of damage and then comes back and does the same amount of damage. And then they die very, very fast. And you can just pretty much run through it and complete the dungeon super, super fast. So I'm really excited to have this, guys. There we go. We just kill them all instantly. So this is the best possible loadout possible, as you can see, guys. These are the stats if you didn't manage to see. And let's go ahead and complete this dungeon with this warrior loadout now. So I'm going to try and get my hands on the best possible mage loadout as well, guys. So you can see, you know, the mage side of things. So then I can do a comparison between the two best armors in the game, which is better warrior or mage. So look out for the next video, guys. So yeah, as you can see, I am level 97 right now, guys. I have something special planned for level 100. So all I can say to you guys, make sure you're subscribed with those notifications on because I'm going to be doing a special live stream to reach in 100. And there's a reason why I have nothing in my inventory, okay? There's a good reason why I've done that. Um, so I'm not going to spoil anything, but all I can say, guys, make sure you do not miss out. Like, make sure you guys are there when I reach level 100. Because you do not want to miss out, guys. Because you'll, you'll find out. You'll find out. I don't want to spoil it too much. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and heal myself right there. Uh, so, that's why, you know, I do go for 30,000 health, as you saw. I did get hit by the boss once. Uh, not a big deal, though. Uh, usually you can like do that boss without getting hit but it's not really a big deal if you do get hit because obviously i can heal myself um but now obviously this is where i need to concentrate more and now i've been playing this game so much to the point where i kind of know how to dodge this without getting hit sometimes all it is is rng and it's lucky where the circles go like pretty, pretty much you can like dodge these two skills the more you do this the better you're gonna get at dodging so sometimes i can like do it without even getting hit uh, but it obviously depends on where the circles go because it's usually the circles that hit me But there we go guys. We're about to complete this boss very very fast guys as you can see this loadout is insane Um, you'd pretty much fly through that. There you go. Didn't even get hit once uh, The bosses aren't too hard. Obviously, it's just like sometimes you will get hit unluckily But it's the last boss. I honestly think the last boss is the easiest bro Like to dodge all the attacks the last boss is you know, all you do is just run straight lines but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this loadout in the comments down below. Like, are you guys going for that purple warrior armor? 
and this is how good it actually is guys i'll be looking forward to seeing what you guys think about this loadout in the comments down below and can we have a level update you know how is everybody doing for the levels you know you guys level 100 yet like me nelly or you know you guys level 10 let me know in the comments as well so yeah so hopefully we get that good good loot boom and there we go that's why i really like those skills guys it literally just like takes them out instantly so yeah i did used to go glacial blows i had two of them but then once i got all this purple stuff i, I thought like these 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 things were better because they do a lot more damage and because they act like a boomerang it kind of got like easier than glacial blows and they go a little bit further as well so you know that's why i switched over to these so once you get the purple loadout guys i do recommend using these but obviously Glacial Blows are still going to be really, really good, but I did get rid of them because, you know, I need space in my inventory. Uh, there we go. We got trash, so... Oh, I mean, I mean, I got a purple weapon, but obviously, you know, I have legendary, so it's not a big deal. But there we go. We defeated the boss, so I'm going to go ahead and join a new one. You know what? Actually, I might just, like, carry people, you know? Let's, uh, let's see. What can we join here? Uh, Pirate Island. Okay, is there any, uh, is there any, is there any King's Castle people? Uh, I don't think there's anyone high enough level to play king's castle nightmare oh my gosh I mean, these guys need leveling up let's see how much damage i do without armor we have this we have my skill points we have my weapon okay guys let's see how much damage we do without armor let's see if like no armor challenge is possible oh geez okay it's gonna take the longest time to kill them without any armor guys because it's not like this enchanted spinning blades Maybe I should try and get the Enchanted Spinning Blades to try and do this no armor challenge on this map. Because as you can see, guys, they do not die without armor. So let me just go and equip that real quick. Look at my health. That's insane. Wait, imagine me doing this with this amount of health throughout the whole playthrough. Like, I take no more damage. Hmm. Let's see if I could do that. I actually want to challenge myself. I took off my armor to get, like, this amount of health. Let's see if we can continue playing. That means I cannot get hit once. It's pretty much the no damage challenge right now. Let's see how far we get. Um, I don't mind if I don't complete it though. It's just a little... I just want to see how far I get. So if you guys have got any ideas on what I could do for level 100, let me know down in the comments. But I do have something special planned myself. But I want to know what you guys think. Also, we are three levels away from hitting level 100. I think that makes me the highest level YouTuber that plays this game, which is awesome, guys. I've been grinding so, so hard for you guys. That's Thick Tanker Nation Leader is number one. So that's why you should consider subscribing to the Tanker Nation. You guys know how it is. Um, I also grind a bunch with fans on live stream. So if you guys want help out or, you know, stuff to win, then tune into them as well. All right, so sometimes the hitboxes are like crazy on this. Sometimes it'll hit you even though you're like outside like the hitboxes, but we'll see how it goes. Let's try not to get hit. Let's see how far we can get. Uh, okay, boom. Go here. Come on, dude. Go up here and then here. And there we go. We defeated the boss. Now, this is where it can get a little bit tricky because, obviously, once you walk through the hallway, they all shoot you. So, I might just try get and target a few like that. Uh, I don't want to, like, risk it because, obviously, I've got super, super low health. Uh, but I took out a majority of them right there. That's okay. Oh, that was close. All right. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. I should take out all of them. Uh, we've got this hitman. Do not kill me. Thank you, sir. Okay. So, if I die here, it's unlucky because, obviously, if, if the RNG does get me here, it's okay, guys. At least I got this far. Um, but yeah, I can always do a no taking damage challenge if I do die here in a separate video If you guys have got any cool challenges that I could do then I'll definitely do them um, I was outside the circle did anyone do see that? Was I even in the circle right there? I, I feel like that's a bit broken right there. I'm pretty sure I was outside of the circle. Hmm. But yeah, maybe I can finish this challenge in a different video. But anyways, guys, hope you guys did enjoy the video. This is the best possible loadout you can get in this game. So be on the lookout for this. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. Give it a like if you enjoyed. 
and I'll see you in the next one.